I love my life. I do love my life because I'm doing what I want to do. I have found my passion. I guess you could say I found my calling. My job is to spread knowledge throughout the world, to write more books, to contact more people, to help as many people as I can. And once you find your passion, it becomes all consuming. But also once you find your passion and you're on the path doing what you're supposed to do, I don't get sick, I don't hurt, because your body is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And I feel I have many years of this left. I have many more books to write. There are just so much knowledge. And every time I think I've heard it all, I've got it all, I get another piece of information. So I know there's worlds out there that I haven't even explored. So I love my life. I love what I'm doing. I love the traveling and the lecturing and reaching people. I wish everyone could find their calling and what they really want to do. It's so important. You find what you want to do. You're glad to get up in the morning and go and do it. Too many people are miserable because they're caught in something they don't want to be in. But I think I have found what I'm supposed to do. It's not what I would have expected I would have done back when I was raising a family and everything. But your life goes in the direction it's supposed to if you follow it and go with it. Well, for others to love their life, you have to first find your passion. Find the thing that you really want to do more than anything. I have clients that come to see me who say they hate their job so much they want to commit suicide. No job is worth that. They feel trapped. I said, you can always find another job. They said they feel trapped in what they're doing. They can't get out of it. There's always a way. A lot of them say, well, they don't do it consciously, but they'll say, well, I can always have a heart attack. That'll give me a good excuse to get out of my job. I don't have, can't go to work if I'm sick. But see, people put themselves in these positions, in these situations to where they are trapped. You don't have to be that way. You can find your passion. I always ask the client, what is it you really want to do? If you're not happy in your job, if you're not happy with your life, what do you really want to do? And they'll talk about it, but they say, I can't do that. There's no money in it. Oh, there's no future in it. Everybody thinks I'm crazy if I want to quit my job and take up painting, or if I want to quit my job and be a healer, and uh, there's no money in it. They have to stay in the rat race. But are you going to listen what everybody else says? Or are you going to listen to your heart? Because otherwise you are going to stay sick, you're going to stay miserable. To find what it is you really want to do. Maybe there isn't any money in it. But is it what is it you want to do? And that's why I try to encourage people to find. I think it was Joseph Campbell that said that, find your passion. You find your passion, you'll be happy. That's what I encourage them to do.